Okay, we're going to get started with panel one. Now, the first thing we need to put on the back of panel one is this little pocket. So this little pocket is where um, this booklet is going to be going into. So this is what we're going to be creating, this pocket. It attaches directly to the back of the panel. So that's what we're going to be doing first. And this is going to be, you're going to be doing this for the fourth panel also. So I, the way I did it is not the way I'm going to show you how to do it because the way I did it was so cumbersome, I don't think anybody could figure it out. So I'm going to try this. You're going to get a piece of your craft cardstock. I'm using a different color just so it will show up a little bit better so you can see the contrast. Now you're going to get a piece of 12 by 12, 65 pound craft cardstock, and you're going to cut it so it is nine and seven eighths inches. So that's going to fit in here because this is 10 inches. So nine and seven eighths inches by 11 and three quarter inches. So you're going just going to trim off a quarter of an inch off one of the 12 by 12 sides. Okay, move this. So then you're going to get your scoreboard. So the um, 11 and three quarter inch side is facing the top. So let's see if we can do this. So we're going to start scoring at um, doo -doo, three quarters of an inch, one and three quarters of an inch, one and three quarters, one and seven eighths, and two. Flip it over, same thing. One and three quarters, one and seven eighths, and two. Okay. So hopefully you can see those three score lines. So you're going to fold it kind of like an accordion. You're gonna go fold that first score line, flip it over, do the second one, which is a little bit harder because they're so close to each other. The way I did it was with 16th inch score marks and that was just so cumbersome. And there's no way I could have shown you without everybody getting frustrated. Even one eighth, I'm not very good at folding. And then you're going to do your last one eighth. So you're gonna fold that one, if I can even see it. There's my, there's the, there's the two. So I folded all three of those score marks. And then what you're going to do is you want this. This is your, this is your one and three quarters, one and seven eighths, and two inch score marks you are going to bring the two inch to the one and three quarter inch score mark and the other one's going to be in the middle. So this is what it should look like. So you have those three score marks, the two inch score mark and the one and three quarter score mark 
are like basically folded on each other with that one and seven uh, eighth score mark that is in the middle and it's down like that. Okay. And then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Right, this time I'll try to burnish each one as I do it. Not that it's going to help me. That middle one is just hard to do. I don't know how people do these. I've seen people use rulers to try to get it to, to fold over easier. Let me get the two inch one. You guys can probably do this better than me. And those of you that are professionals, I know you can do this better than me. I think I got it lined up. Just burnish that. And turn this two inch flap over. Burnish this. So you should have your pieces that look like this. And then the way that's going to fit is this is going to be placed on here like this. And then we're going to insert our um, booklet in here. Okay, so first step done. So next thing we're going to do is we are going to punch um, using our envelope punch that little cutout so we can easily take in and out our booklet. If you don't have an envelope punch, obviously just find the center and you could use a circle punch too. That's fine. So what I did is it's, it's folded here you're going to line this up at the one inch. So this edge is gonna be at one inch. If you want to pull this out and you're just going to line it up <coughs> right here at this, this part right here, which is that third score line. So I'll do that because that's what we're gonna to have to do with the other side. So line that up and punch at the one inch mark. Then you gotta flip it over. And now you're going to find that one, two, three, that third score line again. That's where you're gonna line it up. You're gonna line that up with the one inch mark and punch. Then you just have to cut out between here and here. So I'm going to do that. So there we have, so there we have that little um, punch out space here. So then next thing you're going to do is you are going to measure eight and a half inches from, where's the top? This is the top. Here's our little punch out here. So we're going to measure eight and a half inches down. So I can fold this 
eight and a half inches down. Eight and a half inches down on this side too from the top. Eight and a half inches down. And then just join those lines. Oh my gosh. What a crooked line I drew there. Eight and a half inches. So we have our eight and a half inch um, line drawn. So what I want to do, because it's going to be sitting in the the folio, um, but these are going to be the flaps. These are going to be the flaps that adhere to the to the the base of the folio. What I want to do is shut off this part of this little uh, accordion piece. I want to close it down. So you can open up this, open up this piece here. Here's your front. Here's your front. Here's the, the back side. Against, it's going to be against the spine of the folio. We're going to close this off. So I am going to put a little bit of score tape in here and just get will this one that one's too big um i'll just have to use my itty bitty score tape you can use glue too and it doesn't have to be perfect it's just around eight and a half inches right there this side too pull it put score tape in there Pull the score tape. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. I'll use my art glitter glue because this one's so tiny, it doesn't matter if it dries fast. Just for a little extra strength. And then we're going to fold these closed. So just get it and fold it closed. Got a little glue there. Where's my rag? That's closed down on that side. Same thing with the other side. There, so they're they're both closed down now. So to adhere this down, you have the these large flaps that you're going to be adhering down here, you're actually going to be putting score tape back and through here because this is going to be attached to the back also. We're gonna glue this part down here and we're gonna be attaching it into the folio like this. And then we're going to be covering up these, these flaps with um, designer paper. And then we're going to um, put our booklet in here. So let's go ahead and close this part up because we want this adhered down. So you can just add some glue and adhere this down and this down. See, where's eight and a half inches? I'll just kind of 
kind of eyeball it right there. I am not good with art glitter glue. Oh. Good enough. We just want it adhered down. Where's my rag? Same thing on this side. Doop. You art glitter glue people that are experts at using this. I guess I just need more practice. So those are down. So now what I'm going to do, I might do just a soft, soft cut on these. We're going to be cut or covering them up. I don't want to deep do a deep miter, but I just might do a little, a little trim there if I can find my scissors. Just a little tad of trim. I don't even think I need to do this, but just a little bit. It's going to be covered up anyway. Probably not necessary. Now what I'm going to do is on these flaps and on this back side, I'm going to slather it with my score tape and then I will be right back. So I have my score tape on these wings, these little flap wings, and on the back side where we measured eight and a half inches and then we have this space here. So we got score tape wrapped all the way around. And basically what you're going to do is adhere it. You're going to line it up top to bottom, have your little reveal here, a little bit of reveal up here, and then you're going to put it down. Now I'm going to pull all my score tape and I'm going to put a little bit of my Beacons glue all the way around it too just to give it some extra strength. Okay, so I laid it down, got it in place. Now I'm going to burnish it. Get those corners real well. You want this down because it is holding your full the page one of the folio that we're going to be making. It's going to be attaching to this piece. And I just want to make sure I don't have any glue that came out on the edges here. Use your ruler. Look. That's fine. Since I'm out of frame, I'm just checking to see if my the wings, this top flap's not attached to there. Seems good. So that is down. Now what I did with this is I covered I covered this whole thing with um, designer paper. And let me show you what I used. What I used was this brown designer paper underneath. Can you see that? I mean, it was basically not much. It's just at the end, you can see it at the end. right there. I mean, you can barely see where the that brown paper is. It's right here. 
and right at the front, right here. But I put it um, behind the whole thing because I wasn't sure how I was going to be um, attaching this thing. But you can do that. Get It's this paper. And I just basically, what orientation, but I put it in, well, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see much of it. Um, you just put it in, cut the little um, inserts out here, one inch in, and get that adhered down. Or you can just do the edges if you don't want to waste all the paper. Um, I just wanted it, I don't know, I just covered the whole thing. I'll show you a picture of um, my original video that was scrambled, but I put the whole thing down. And then you're just going to add um, designer paper, which is the solid yellow. I just cut a strip of solid yellow about two inches wide and cut it to fit and slipped it in there. Um, to cover up this edge here, and it covers up the lips here. That's all I did there. So what I did is I just used my scrap piece of that, um, that designer paper. Oh, my computer just went off. <laughs> and notched it out. This is a little less than one inch from each side. Um, so we get that reveal and then put that down and then put a little strip down here since this isn't going to matter much and kind of inked it with the vintage photo. Cut a, a little strip of the yellow, inked it, and that's just going to slip in here. And then the rest is just going to be building your little booklet. Now you probably all know how to make the booklets. The depth is going to be, you just get a piece of scrap paper that's long, and then you put it in there till you hit the bottom. And then you just draw your line. And that's going to be the, the depth of your booklet. So mine is like, eight and one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, eight and three eighths. So that's, everyone's is going to be a little bit different. The booklet I made for my folio, it's, this is too, too big. It's too long. So this one is actually eight and almost eight and a half. So this one's just a little bit shorter. So everyone just measure yours and then get the, the proper width uh, and make your, your, your little um, booklets. I use this paper because that's what's on the cover of our folio and I just use the green. And then on the back side, I use this paper and I notched it with the scallop punch. And I put a little pull tab underneath the paper. Just so, and it's underneath the back side of the paper. So this is the front, this is the back. So I put a little, a little ribbon here. So when you do put it in here, this is the wrong one, but you're gonna be able to just pull it with that that ribbon. So that's what I did for mine. You go ahead and make your booklet and the width is you just kind of cut it till it goes in there easy. This one's a little too wobbly. It needs to be a little bit wider. So you make your booklets to fit the pocket that you created. And what is another good thing, go ahead and do this for panel four. This notch part obviously is going to be facing 
the outside in this direction. But you can you construct it exactly the same way. Use those same measurements since you've already made one. The designer paper doesn't matter right now. Just go ahead and get this made and adhered to panel four. And that one will be ready to go because it's going to be exactly the same as this. So now we're ready to build panel one. So what we're going to be making here, and we've made it before, well, I've made it before um, other albums. I made it on the Little Things album too because I just love this design. We're going to have make a flap here. And then we're going to have these two fold outs here on either side and then they're going to fold out again. So that's what we're going to be making. And what you're going to do is you're going to build them on a base page. And this is craft card stock. It's, the, it's going to be 10 inches wide and it's only 10 inches wide because I can find the five inch halfway mark real easy and it is seven and a half inches tall. So cut a piece of um, craft card stock 10 inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. And this is, this is what we're going to build on. Then you're going to, to make the two little fold outs. You're going to cut two pieces And then you are going to score them you're going to score this you've got the nine and a quarter inch side up you're going to score it at a half an inch and five inch so now I can put my scoreboard back away and then you're going to fold at that half inch and that five inch part score line so then you have your two pieces they've been scored and folded so this is going to go like this on this side, and then the other one will be like this on this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to put score tape on the half inch side, miter those corners. Now it's going to lay like this. You're just going to put it just like this is the left panel. You're going to put it just to the left of that of that halfway point of this base card. Here's five inches, here's five inches, and I just drew a line, so I will know to put that there. But you do, at least I've already done this and made a mistake. When you pull the tape, it gets caught on this bottom flap. So I'm just gonna fold this up, get it out of the way, and now I can put this down, line it up there, And that looks pretty straight. And now I can pull my tape. And I can put this back under there. And then just do the same for the other one. Score tape on. Get this lined up. Fold this over so I don't get it caught with my score tape. Line it up. And Look straight. There. And pull the tape.
and two. It looks like I got just a little overhang on this one and I can put it back in the trimmer. See where there's a little bit of overhang here? It's a little bit, I can put it back in the trimmer to even that out. I'm not gonna do that because this is just showing you guys how to do it, but you can do, do that. So now you have these in there like that. Now we need to add the flap that goes over to close this. So to make the flap, you are going to um, cut a piece of craft cardstock. Remember, I'm using these colored papers so you can see better. <laughs> I, this is all craft cardstock that we're building these these um, panels with. So craft, it's not this color. Anyway, cut a piece seven and a half inches tall by four and one eighth inches wide. And then you're going to find the midpoint, which is like two and one sixteenth, and just put a tick mark up here where the midpoint is and down here. This is the one that's real important. So put that tick mark down there, and then you're going to measure one inch up from the bottom edge here, and then put a line there and you're going to measure one inch up from the opposite side and you're going to put a line there and then you are going to join the mid point here the midpoint here to this one inch mark and the midpoint here to this one inch mark and i'm going to use um, a ruler to do it because i need i need rulers let me get this over This midpoint to this part here. See if I can draw it straight like that. And then from this dot here to the midpoint. And draw a line. And then you're just going to cut these parts off. So we're going to have this little part like this. You're going to put this piece in your scoreboard at the opposite end. So here it is at seven and a half inches on the top. You're going to score it at a half an inch and then just go over an eighth of an inch, which is um, the next tick mark right here. You're going to go at five eighths of an inch right there, half an inch, five eighths. And we're going to have form a little gusset there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this in my trimmer, this part here, and I'm going to fold these and I'll be right back. I am sure everyone knows how to do this, but just in case when you're cutting these in the trimmer, you just put that point on the line that's going to be where the cut um, blade goes and then this point also where the blade goes and then you just cut it um, you can do a hand cut too with scissors if you like and then go ahead and fold these and now we got a, a little um, one eighth of an inch little gusset here. So I wanted to show you something. I've been abusing this because I've been showing you guys this folio and it's torn at the top here where the gusset is. Um, so I'm going to have to fix that because it's getting a lot of abuse going up and down, up and down. Um, so what I'm going to do, or what you guys can do to help prevent that, is if you have the craft um, tape, I cut a strip that's four and a half inches long. 
And then I'm just going to put that over those score marks just to reinforce that so it doesn't it doesn't tear. And we're going to be putting, um, remember, this is all natural cardstock anyway, so this tape will blend in. And you don't have to make it this wide if you don't want to. And then you can just refold it. And now you won't have to worry if that is going to tear on you. So now that is reinforced. So this flap can move up and down all at once and it's not going to tear on you. So then this piece is going to go and open this up and you are going to find the center of this piece which I just covered up with the tape. Um, but here's the center down here. You're going to have the point pointing at the center down here. This is going to line up with the center right here. And I'm going to refine my center just so I know exactly where I am. I'm going to put some score tape on this half inch strip back here. Um, am I gonna miter my, no, I'm not gonna miter these because we're going to be putting designer paper um, across across here anyway. So let me go ahead and find my midpoint here and then I'm going to have my score tape and then be right back. Okay so I got to my mid mark here and I got the mid mark on the inside here. Now the way you do this, make sure you have your gusset like this because you want to adhere it down so this, this one is aligned with the back, um, the top of this, this base page. So it's going to be like that. So what you can do is get that lined up, lift this up, and you can see where it's lined up here. And here is your midpoint right here. And then you're just going to pull the tape. Just make sure that it does all line up. This is pointing to the midline here. This is in the midline and it looks good. Good to go. Let me get under here to pull the tape. Do your gusset. There you go. Okay, so we have our flap, these two openings. All we need left to do is put in this little flip down here. So you will need one piece that's four inches tall by eight inches wide. And you're going to score it here. So just, uh, I'm going to insert this in the video. So um, learn from my mistake of redoing this. When you make this piece, this little, little flip down, four inches tall um, by eight inches wide, you're going to score it at a half an inch and then a half an inch plus an eighth of an inch. And then you're going to have an eighth of an inch gusset right down here. So that will make it fold and stay flat against this page. My bad. So I will let you know um, when you're cutting this to make sure you do those score marks there. One half an inch, fold it. You're gonna find the center of this piece and align it with the center here. 
and just pull the tape and put it down. Now with mine, I I used a, a trim, a trimmer. Oh my gosh, where is it? I'm not sure if this is Martha Stewart. Yes, it is. It's a Martha Stewart trimmer. So um, this is the one that looks like this. So I used that to trim the top part. And if you do use a trimmer, you may want to cut your piece a little taller. And then once you get it all trimmed out, then measure four inches down so you get the proper height. Or it doesn't matter. It's only like an eighth of an inch off. Not even that. But I use that. If you don't have a trimmer, you don't need to have, you don't have to have a tr one of these punch trimmers edge trimmers. So just put that down here. So that is centered. Pull the tape. And there you have it. So everything is now in. Okay, so now we're going to start putting on our designer paper for panel one. You are going to cut from your 12 by 12. I'm using this one, the solid yellow, and you're going to fit it and cover this whole back panel. So just measure it, and we're covering the whole back panel. So um, measure it. Put it in there, and this is all I have left, so that's why I'm showing you only bits and pieces. That's all I have left. So put that all back in here. This is going to cover wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Make sure you do not, you know, you have clearance for your folds here, but it's going to go wall-to-wall. -wall. Leave your 1 16th of an inch reveal, so that's going to cover the back. So I cut a piece of not this, but this, and it's going to fit in like this. So my piece is, and you measure yours between um, where it bends here, where those fold lines are. Mine is like nine, basically nine, just over nine inches, but you measure yours and you're going to put that down. So I'm just gonna adhere that down here. Then you are going to get this piece from the eight by eight collection. And make sure you, you ink the edges on all these pieces too. So you're gonna get this piece, you're going to find the center and put a little tick mark then you are going to cut it at from the top you are going to cut it at six and one eighth inch six and one eighth inch see there six and one not six and one eighth inch six and a half plus that's six and four eighths five eighths six and five eighths inch right there you're going to cut that. You are going to center this within the center up in here. Now you have um, this down here. Here's the piece that you cut off. Here's the piece that you cut off. You're going to have a little bit of yellow reveal and then you're going to Put this here, and then you're going to trim this part off. You're going to trim this part off. So you're basically, what I wanted to do was keep those love blocks all in. So this looks like I'm going to be cutting it at um, almost three quarters of an inch, but you measure yours depending on where you have it lined it lined up up here. So I'm going to go make my cuts put and put this part down. 
Okay, so I kind of put this down. Remember to ink your edges, and if you're tapping out the pink, um, you want to go ahead and tap out the pink on these flowers. And I did the balloon too. Um, I did everything that was pink, I tapped it out. I'll show you in a bit, but this is down, and now you have these yellow edges. I covered them up with this piece. This is from the 12 by 12 collection, the front page. And what I did is I put these, this is like a half an inch yellow here, half an inch yellow here. And I just cut out this piece with the polka dots right here. I cut out a piece that was this long, which is, I think, seven, almost seven and a half. So it's going to be seven and three eighths of an inch long and I put it down here. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I don't have any pieces left. I've used them all. So I'm going to just cut this and show you what I did. So I cut out this little strip. You keep this little border on the top and you cut this all the way down the same length as this paper. I don't have enough. This is all I have left. I've gone through most of my paper, but you're going to put it up like this. And then it will go all the way to the bottom. So you'll have a little bit of yellow reveal on each side of this strip. And then you'll do the same thing for this side. So you'll have enough to do on that side. Here's my little, I just cut off this strip from here. And you'll have enough, the strip, you'll have enough um, from this portion of the paper to do both of these sides. So that's what I did. Make sure you ink the edges. And let me show you what that looks like in the folio itself. So there you can see, I got the strips on both sides and they go all the way to the bottom of the yellow sheet. And this paper is, is um, right on top of the yellow sheet. The edge is right on top of the yellow sheet. So it goes like that. So you should have this all down now. And then we're going to be covering this bottom flap and it's going to be like this. It's hard to maneuver this folio, it's so big. So this bottom flap with the stars and a little strip of the brown polka dot right here. So let me get that. So next what you're going to do, you're going to pull down your flap and you're going to get this from the this little brown dotted paper from the 8x8 collection. And you're going to cut a half an inch strip and put it at the bottom. If you did your, um, your edging, just put it down below. If you did it with no edging, just you know have your little bit of 1 16th reveal down here. Then you're going to fill in the rest of this space, whatever your measurement is, with this paper. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. It's, the, it's on the back side of this. You're going to measure and fill in the rest of this with, with the star paper. You can butt it up right next to um, this strip if you like and or just have a little bit of reveal in between it doesn't really matter so you're going to fill this in with this paper so this will be filled in with the stars 
I'll just put this down so we know this is the stars from the 12 by 12 collection. So you got these, let me put this in so I know we've done this. So hopefully you're able to follow along. I've, this was like my third or fourth uh, folio. So I've gone through a lot of paper. So I don't have that many scraps left. You'll have plenty, believe me. So the last thing we need to do is cover the front of this pull down flap. So I put a ribbon right in the center here um, just because I like the idea of having a pull down flap that tells whoever gets this album, this is to be pulled down. It kind of looks like a pocket, but it's not. So put that down and then you're going to use the star paper from the patterns and solids and you will cut this to size, ink the edges, cut it and put it down and you're done with this bottom flap. So now this part is done. We need to add our magnets to this piece. Now this piece is going to have its corresponding magnets on these outer flaps. So the way I have mine in my book is I have this little card that sits in here. So you wanna see if you are going to be using this card and it's going to be, let's see how I have it. No, I don't have that card there. I have the card right here. That was the problem. Um, so my card fits here and it you use it to open up like this. The problem with this one, I had to put it so high is because my magnets were right here and I couldn't cover up my magnets or else this wouldn't shut. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out where, if you're going to be using this card, where are you going to place it on these flaps because if this is kind of high it works but let's see where are we going to put those magnets so I think that would be good right there so um, let's see where that falls so this is right here so we need the magnets to be below this space and where is that This is five and a half inches down. So five and a half inches down. So I need the magnets to be about, I am going to put the magnets right at this line. Right at this line where these two corners are. So I'm gonna put the magnets somewhere here and here. And then that should fall down below. Yeah, so let's do that. So put your magnets a half an inch in from at least a half an inch in from each side. And I'm gonna get mine and I'll do that. So I put my magnets in here. Oops, don't want you to go there. Put my magnets here about a half an inch in and around this line here that we drew. So I'm going to put the counterpart here and the counterpart here and then transfer them over. There, so they're down here, they're below that mark. I didn't measure this one out very well, but 
So there, they, this should fit in there like that. So we got room and then this will close. Okay, so got the magnets. So then what you're going to do is you're going to cover this, this flap with this brown dotted paper. Just cut it to size. And um, this is from the 12 by 12 collection. Cover this, cover, you're gonna be covering your magnets. And these front flaps are going to be covered with this paper. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. So you're going to cover these with this. Make sure you ink the paper. Make sure you, if you're doing the gender neutral, you take out the pink, have it right side. Make sure the right side is up. So the stems are going in this direction and you're going to cover these. So go ahead and do that and I will show you what it will look like on the um, original folio once you get the paper down. I do not have enough paper to do this to show you, but you know how to do it. Just measure out where you're going to cut and put the paper down. So you're going to have this top flap covered with the brown dotted paper from the 12 by 12. You are going to have these flaps covered with this paper from the 12 by 12, which is this. If you're doing the gender neutral, you've taken out the pink with that um, alcohol marker. So you have these front covers in, you have the magnets in, you have the back of this flap covered with the magnets covered. Next, you're going to do the inside flaps. Now the inside flaps, you are just covering with this paper. This is the stripes from the patterns and solids. So you're just going to cut um, the green stripes from the patterns and solids to do this on both sides. That's the inside flap. So patterns and solids, green stripes. This opens up. You're going to have this inside flap is the 12 by 12 dots. So you're going to be covering this with the um, 12 by 12 dots, the brown dots. This flap, which is on the back side of, of the stripes, you are going to be doing, I put in stripes all the way around. I filled it in with stripes and then I added this little border of the dots just to have a little tuck spot. You don't have to do that, but I thought it looked nice to have the dots here, the stripes, and then a little tuck spot uh, right here and this is just I think it's is it a half an inch let's see it is it's three quarters of an inch so this is a three quarter inch st um, strip that I just put over the striped patterns and solids right there and then just to make a tuck spot and I thought it looked good Going with the dots here, stripes, and then dots there. And you're going to do this on the same side. So you got this done, this done, this done, this done. If you want to add this piece, which is just this, um, this card that I made. Oh my goodness. Something crashed. If you want to add this piece, I added a little border of the craft card stock all the way around it. So you can see just to make it a little bit bigger. So you can see here it is. And then there's just a little bit of craft card stock. And then I just centered it in between my two flaps. And for me, I had to put it above my magnets. Since your magnets are lower, you can put this a little bit lower. So then you would put that in. 
and then you just adhere it to one side. You adhere it to one side. So if you were putting it on this side, you would get it centered, you would mark it, you pull this over, and then you would mark it where, where you're going to not add the tape. You would mark it, and then you would put the, the tape on this side, right? Tape or glue, and then you would adhere it down. But you're going to be doing it on this side, so same thing. You put the card down, find where it's centered, pull it over, turn it over, and then you just mark the card where it's going to not be glued down. And then the part that you put your mark in, this is the part that you glue down. I know you've all done this. Um, but those of you that haven't, that's how you do it. And then I just co covered the side that was showing with the, um, the stars, the yellow stars. Same yellow stars that you're going to be using on top of this flap. This is going to be yellow stars. This is going to be yellow stars. And I also put a little pull tab, a little ribbon underneath the yellow stars here. So you can have a little pull tab to pull this up. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm working backwards because like I said, this is like the third or fourth time I've done this album, changing the size and oh my gosh, but I think that makes sense. Putting the card here, putting a little edge of craft card stock, marking it where you want it, centering it, marking it on the back side, adhering it down. When you flip it over, you are going to be adding, you're going to be adding a little ribbon if you want, right in the middle, and then cover that ribbon with this star paper, and then you have this flap that's going to be pulling everything open. Hopefully that makes sense. So we got this, this done, this done, this done, this done. So for the front flap, we are just using the yellow striped paper. And I put this, um, welcome baby journaling card on the front and I matted it on some craft card stock. Make sure you ink the edge, edges of everything. For this, there's going to be a lot of stress on this paper. Those magnets are gonna put a lot of stress on this paper. So what I did is I used my circle punch with a stitch die and I cut it out in the craft, this is black, but I cut it out in the craft. I got two of them and I glued them together to make it extra strong. So you just glue them together. If you do not have um, a die with a stitch, it doesn't matter. You can just use your circle punch. This is about, what is it? It's a one inch diameter. So I glued those two together and then I got a ribbon, whatever ribbon you would like. I used this thick, a thicker ribbon that I had that I had in my stash, this thick gold ribbon. I liked it. But whatever ribbon you want to use, you would put it behind these two, get a third circle punch. And glue it on top of that ribbon. Get that adhered down. Oops, let me get my ribbon adhered down. Just put some glue on here, but usually put tape and glue to adhere my ribbon down because I want it, I don't want it to move. But get that. I'm sure you guys have all done this before. I'll close that later.
and then that would be your little um, circle ribbon. I got glue all over the place. Circle ribbon thingy. And then you would use the next smaller circle cut to add the, the here I used the, the stars. And then you would just glue that down right there in the center. That way all the, the weight, the, the stress of the pole is going to be on this circle die that you made and not so much on the paper itself. So that would just go here and then just put your circle, the three quarters of an inch circle um, of stars right in the middle there and you'll have this little, this little pole. And in the back, I just covered the card stock with, where is my camera? With a little bit of green paper, but you don't have to cover it. It's not much is even showing. It's just gonna be the craft card stock showing there. But that is how I made my little circle pole. So we've completed making this base of our panel one for our folio. We have these little flaps on the side. We're going to put them in the scoreboard. And you're just going to, they're half an inch. So just go ahead and score it half an inch on this side. Easier for me to flip it around and do half an inch over on this side. Remember this was 10 inches, so you're just scoring it half an inch. I'm just gonna fold those over, fold those over, and you can glue these down, put some score tape, and glue them down. So I'm just going to put some score tape and then a little bit of glue and I'll be right back. So these have been glued down, Use glue and some score tape. And now you're going to put this in your folio. So you're gonna to go to panel one. And what I did is I covered this wall-to-wall -wall tape, wall-to-wall -wall tape, and then I actually applied some Beacon 3-in-1 glue uh, on it also to make sure it really adhered down well. You're going to be applying this. You're gonna center it, and you're gonna be applying it straight down here. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna waste all my tape. I will do a little insert of, of my album that I already created. I think I have the, the video left of when I did attach it to the back of this folio. And I will show you how to do that. But basically you're just adhering this down, you're centering it and pushing it down and adhering it. So now that Panel one is done. You've got everything matted. You got your um, booklet. You're ready to put this on. So I covered it end to end with score tape, and I'm actually going to be adding some some glue on top of all this because I really want this to stick on here. Basically, all you're going to do is center it. So you have a little bit of the brown paper showing on each side and pretty much the top and bottom are centered. So it's going to sit like, like that. So I'm going to remove all my escort tape, put some glue on and then plop it down.
and everything should be in now. You just need to make your booklet, measure your booklet, get the right size. Um, I had to adhere two pieces of the craft cardstock together because it's kind of big and it just folds over. There's my seam inside and that just goes in here and this is the way I covered it. I matched the flowers. This is from the 8x8 collection. This is from the 12x12 collection. And then I just did the small stars from the 8x8 and then the stripes from the 12x12. And I did kind of go over the pink stripes with my um, alcohol marker on this one. So that is done. So I think we are now finished with panel one. If you have any questions, let me know. It, it's, it's not that difficult. It's just hard when I'm working back and I'm reconstructing it and I don't have any of the paper left. So hopefully you guys got, got all that. And we're gonna go on to panel two.